So it's all arranged? Good, I'll expect to hear from you soon. Thank God, you're alone. What is it? What's wrong? We need to talk about Jason. Hey, Elizabeth. What the hell is going on with you? I beg your pardon? Well, first you tell me that Jake is really Jason, and then you tell me you're going to keep a secret to yourself so that Jason and I can be together without any outside interference. And I've honored your request. Have you? Because Lulu told me that Jake's fake wife is living here at Windermere. Okay, look, I can't explain. Is it true? Yes, it's true. Why? Why is Hayden living here? So, did I hear that you were... Nicholas, you know what kind of person she is. You saw what she did to me and Jason. Wasn't Britt bad enough? Why would you want another lying witch in your life? Look, the last person I want to be with is, is Hayden. But I had to tell Lulu that story so she would stop questioning me. Okay, I don't understand. Why would you lie to your sister? Because I couldn't afford her knowing the real reason Hayden is here. Yeah, you've totally lost me. What, if Hayden isn't some old flame, then why is she here? Hayden knows that Jake is really Jason. Hayden knows? Yes. She knows Jake is really Jason? How? Wait, I... does Rick know? No. Well, then how did she find out? She overheard us in the lobby at the nurse's bar. Oh, God, no, 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 no. And when I came home last night, she was waiting here, threatening to expose us. I had to let her move in or risk everyone finding out the truth. Oh, Nicholas, I am so sorry. I didn't know where to get this out of control. God, Jason's situation has just gone from bad to worse. What? What are you, what are you talking about? Didn't you and Jason get back together? Yes, yes, we did. I mean, he came home with me after the nurse's ball. And it was everything I'd hoped for. It was, it was perfect. Until he went back to the Metro Court and killed Duke Lavery. <laughs> Jason killed Duke Lavery? Are you sure? I, I, I don't know. He was, he was vague. He didn't really give me an answer either way. But the police called him in for questioning like they always used to. Do you to. think he did it? He certainly knows how. He used to kill Sonny's enemies. Why not Julian's? He's following the same pattern. What pattern? Jason tried to break things off with me, so I wouldn't be hurt by the fallout. If there was ever any doubt that he's really Jason, pushing me away from my own good has convinced me. So after everything you've gone through, you and Jason are over before it started? No. This time I wasn't going to let Jason go. Are you sure you thought this if all the way through? If anyone else in the world, I'd be gone. But this is Jason. I cannot walk away. It, it sounds to me like he wants you to go, like he's trying to protect you. Maybe you should let him. He doesn't need to protect me. Sonny is not going to retaliate by hurting me or my boys. I know that. Well, there's no guarantee that you won't be caught in the crossfire. Accidents happen to everyone. If we're going to live our lives trying to avoid them, then we may as well never even leave the house. Elizabeth, Jason lives at a level of risk that's not acceptable to most people. If he thinks that you and the boys are in danger, you better listen. Don't you see, Nicholas? This is my time with Jason. And I'll be damned if I let some stupid mob war get in my way. And I am certainly not gonna let Hayden tear us apart. Who cares if she knows who Jason really is? We can handle her. We just have to figure out a way to keep her quiet. I'm Jason and I have overcome so many obstacles. And I have given up every shred of integrity just to be with him. Is that worth it? It's worth everything. And I am not gonna let some two-bit calm woman destroy the happiness that I have found with Jason. Is that right, Elizabeth? What are you gonna do about it? <laughs>